and Zubego, the right honorable Keith Robin. He's here together with his wife, Nate Bolton, and Mrs. Sharon Black Robin. He's joined by the Vice President of our Republic, His Excellency Dr. Ahmad Baumia. Nate Bolton, the wife of the Vice President, His Excellency Mrs. Samira Baumia. Chief Justice of our Republic, I was young for a matter of so much than me. One more butchie, one more butchie, America, a butchie, a Becky Brock. What the new technology about, or better show how to make extra, extra money online and prepare on who will be in Kupu. Becky Rock, the a genuine legit on the plus one TV, the main for fake team, the umbrella. On my number, no good screen, I said, contact or more, contact or more, I said, Becky Rock. Maybe I saw a me how to make extra money on vacation, um, trip to Dubai. Because I saw a lot of money that I could go back to work. But show how to make extra, extra money. And we're online. And from when you are you, or your doctor, or your lawyer, or your student, you can be a little bit. Now, for extra, extra money, I can afford to endorse it. I can go back to work. On my number, as I said, on the good screen, I said, contact me. Freno and then the chicken come No one show how to make extra extra money. Bucky Rock, we a guy.
standing as we begin with a prayer. Most merciful God, supreme architect of heaven and earth, we gather here today under your care and your protection. Thank you for your loving kindness that never fails. We thank you for those with us and all who are yet to join us, that you would guide our thoughts and actions to bring you glory. But above all, bless us, O oh Lord, and these thy gifts we are about to receive from the bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. This I pray thee. And we shall all shout, Long live the King. yours Jerry Ajololo and it is with a great sense of pride and privilege that I stand before you in the name of our King who is wise and merciful, the Asante Hene, Utunfo Osei the Second, to welcome you all to this banquet in his distinguished honor. Seated in splendor and glory by his side is the Princess Consort of Asante Man. Make welcome Lady Julia Osei May we welcome our guest of honor, the President of our Republic, Nana Adudangwa Akufuado. 
We receive with delight our special guest, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, the Right Honourable Keith Rubble. He's here together with his wife, Mate Wilkham, Mrs. Sharon Black Rubble. He's joined by the Vice President of our Republic, His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Baumia. Mate Wilkham, the wife of the Vice President, His Excellency Mrs. Samira Baumia. Chief Justice of our Republic, the Ladies of Justice, Gertrude Tokono joins us. Together with her husband, Mr. Francis Tokono. We delight to welcome the Women Thea of Anglo, Thorpe Street, the second. We receive also the Mampongkini, Da Sibre Ose Wonsu, the second. The Jabihini Nana Oto Sribo joins us. The Chief of Staff of the Office of the President, the Honorable Akosia Frema Ose Opari. Sir Sam Jonah joins us this evening. In the lovely company of his wife, Lady Giselle Jonah. Together with you all, Excellencies, Honorable Ministers of State and Members of Parliament, Captains of Industry, Security Chiefs, and to you all our distinguished guests, we say Akwaba to Mencia, the seat of government of Asantiman. Well, this evening, by divine grace, this celebration takes place under the sign of spiritual communion with the King's birthday, which was just celebrated past Monday, and on the eve of the big Akosidai, which takes place tomorrow. May ours be a celebration for generations to remember. We begin this evening with the first course, it is a plated service of four courses. Please enjoy your meal, bon appetit, and well with that, the band will sell meals.
The continuation of the cordial relations between our kingdom and your country. May this relationship grow and flourish. We welcome also His Excellency the Vice President Ahmad Bamiya and wife. You are so fresh from your paper visits. 
And we are sure that the blessings we got from his holiness, the Pope, will be rubbing off on us this evening. We welcome the Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana. Madam, your presence assures us that there is no injunction pending in any court of competent jurisdiction against our celebrations tonight. And with that assurance, we are going to really enjoy ourselves to the full. We welcome our uh, Queen Mother of Jubilee House, the matriarch herself, a native of Asante, Nana Mami Prima Ose Opare, Chief of Staff at Jubilee House. She will be with us in most of our ceremonies, and your presence goes to confirm your commitment to our welfare and our well being. Thank you very much for coming. To our uncle and brother, President Kufo, you've been with us in most of our ceremonies. On Monday, when we had the celebration of the birthday of our, of our king, the words of wisdom that you gave still resonate with us. And I'm going to refer to them in the latter part of my speech. Don't charge me for plagiarism. We are gathered here tonight to wine and dine as guests of Otum Osetutu II. As I said earlier, all this being part of the silver jubilee of his coronation. The ceremony is being held under the splendor of this royal banquet hall within the noble edifice erected and furnished solely by Otum I'll say to the second, as a gift to our Santimai, to mark our memory to 25 years, to commemorate his 25 years reign. But then before I may not quote you, in your extemporaneous speech on the birthday, you said that we are not just celebrating a birthday, but we are celebrating greatness. And indeed, today, we are not just celebrating 25 years, but we are celebrating 25 years of achievements and accomplishments and whatever you can describe by way of getting results for a king and for his kingdom. The achievements of His Majesty both locally and internationally, are there for all of you to see. And that is why the Silver Jubilee Planning Committee decided as our team 25 years of local and global impact. Under the enlightened leadership of His Royal Majesty of 2482, our kingdom has lived up to its tradition of thought.